going on everyone? It's Brain Witch Code. You find jewelry, your personal jeweler. In this video, I want to talk about a phrase, term, or something to describe a piece of gold jewelry that if you hear or a jeweler is trying to sell you uses, you need to run and not buy. With that being said, let's get started. Although this video is geared more towards new gold buyers that are trying to research and gather additional facts before they make a high ticket price purchase in a new piece of gold. Experts like myself may get confused from time to time because there's a lot of different wording, terminology, and content out there that is confusing. And a lot of people reach out to me when researching and just learning gold jewelry. And I get a lot of questions on this and it is a concern. That's why I'm making this video for you guys. Now, jewelers will have different terms to hide the integrity of a gold piece of jewelry, a chain, a bracelet. Jewelers know that selling hollow chains bracelet is just not the best thing. And because more and more content about how hollow chains and bracelets hold up over time is out there, they try to hide the fact of what it is. So they'll say, no, this chain is a solid chain. It has solid gold in there. Oh, okay, that makes sense. It has solid gold. But what they really mean, it is a hollow chain and because it has some gold in there, whatever the purity is, there's going to be solid gold in there. It is a physically a solid thing that that's what it is. And if you believe that and didn't know really what the weights or how to look for a hollow chain, should make a video on that, then you wouldn't really know. And because the jeweler told you, oh, it has solid gold in it, it is a solid gold chain. That is wrong. The next thing is, it is a pure gold chain. It has pure gold in the chain. And if you didn't know that, you'd be like, yeah, that sounds pretty legit. It's pure gold. That's what I want. I was worried if it was fake, but it's pure gold. The only thing that's pure gold is like this, this American one ounce Buffalo coin from the US Mint. It's pure 24 karat gold, not a speck of anything else but pure gold in this item. Now, when you're buying a 14 karat gold chain, it is not pure gold. It is solid 14 karat gold or it has 14 karat gold in it if it is a solid chain. But if it's a hollow chain, it should be just a hollow 14 karat gold. But jewelers try to disguise and hide and use words and content to hide the fact that it is hollow or semi hollow because they know overall it's not the best look for them and they want that sale. So they'll try to mislead by saying a real gold chain, a solid gold chain or a pure gold chain without simply stating it is a hollow chain, semi hollow chain and let the facts after that speak. Now you might think this is pretty self-explanatory. Why would anyone fall for this type of trap? Because of jewelers use different phrases and words and ultimately gold as the clickbait. Gold is the prize thing to have. Not silver, not a base metal, gold. Everybody wants a gold chain. So let's put that gold in a title to try to entice and confuse the customer. A gold color chain with uh, parentheses, a base alloy under. Gold color, no, we want gold content, not just the color. So you have to really lock in and if you don't know, now hopefully you do know, always ask and always go by the terms of what it is. Don't be sold because a jeweler says, no, there is solid gold in it and you're in fact buying a hollow or a semi-hollow chain when you think you're buying a good deal solid gold chain. That is extremely misleading and you might sit there and be like, huh, how does that happen? It does happen. People reach out all the time ask me what the differences are. When I tell somebody what the content is, I like to tell the purity and if it's a solid piece or not. If it's hollow, clearly state that it is a hollow piece and just being transparent. But in a day and age with scammers and just a lot of different people selling different stuff, you have to be careful and only go with a trusted source website jeweler that you feel comfortable in and very transparent because unfortunately sometimes it can be a untransparent business. There's a lot of issues with people trusting jewelers for a reason. So when you're shopping around, make sure you are going and you are reading the product description. You are asking additional questions if you haven't, not just going by, hey, there's real solid gold in this piece. You have to know that it is a hollow piece, a semi-hollow semi piece for sure sure or else you're going to buy it, think you got a really good deal and then down the line be like, wait a second, that's not what I thought it was. So 
please watch out for that terminology and all the confusing terms, tags that jewelers are using these days to disguise the fact that they're selling you absolute garbage. Go with solid gold, an actual solid piece. You'll be glad you did. Go quality. Shout out to Koji. That's it for today's video. Guys, drop a comment down below if you have any other terms or phrases or things you get confused on and want me to help review. That's it for today's video. See you on our next jewelry video.